What is up guys? It is Sticks here and today I'm going to be going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now, don't forget, if you want to make sure you're in the right load zone for the Dreaming City, make sure that Petrovenge is at her showed location on the map. Today she is right next to the Aphelion's Rest Lost Sector. Now of course this is not where the Lost Sector is for this week's Ascendant Challenge, so I will be going back over to the Dvalian Mists. And do remember, before I really get into it, if you enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, etc. Let's get into it. Now, today, it is going to be very close to home. It is going to be right in the Bay of Drowned Wishes Law Sector. If you are familiar with it from doing the normal or the master Lost Sectors, then you should be very familiar with the layout and you can just follow me right on in. At about this point, I would recommend drinking your tincture of Queen's Foil. Here's the portal as shown, but if it is not here, then you either do not have the Ascendance buff and, and thus have not drank a tincture, in which case you can go buy one from Petra, or you are in the wrong load zone for the Dreaming City and you should reset. Now, as you're coming in, do keep in mind, this is very much a an Ascendant challenge that is focused on parkour. So make sure you have, you know, enough control to do that. Apologies if this came off as vague in present. What I mean by this is make sure you have something like triple jump, make sure you have something like high lift for a Titan. Make sure you have something like, I believe it's Burst Glide for Warlock. And if you need, you can use a sword because that normally makes things easier because you're in third person. So you know exactly where your character model is. I didn't explain that very clearly, so it might have been misunderstood. As far as the first Ascendant Egg, once you've gotten to the third platform, it'll be right up here. You can then jump down to Tolan. That's not the quest version of Tolan, that is just an existing one. You feel free to continue following Tolan. And actually, the next item we need is at the real Tolan that you would use for the bounty were it to be working. Once you get to this passageway, you actually have two things of interest up here at once. For one, Toland is up here a lot of the time. So if you want to be doing those bounties or you want to be attempting them, I should say, they are very broken and work maybe 20% of the time. And then the lore bones should be somewhere over here on, the, uh, on this side of this tree. I've already picked it up, so I can't show it to you immediately but it should be somewhere there in this general area. Now you will jump to this platform. Do not jump where Toland is. That is a hole in this platform. I have died more times than I'd like to admit to that. But uh, let's use as a frame of reference. That is where you're going. So when you're about there, you can just do a 180. And on the other side of this platform, you will find a very hard to miss Ascendant Egg, purely because of the fact that this entire room is dark and there's nothing in it. Now what isn't hard to miss is that hole. Alrighty. You can just slide on down this bit. Uh, try not to kill yourself on a pebble. That is a thing that this game likes to do to you. It's not nice, but it happens. And then you will begin jumping down a series of rotating platforms. This is easily the most 
potentially annoying part of this Ascendant Challenge, especially if you're going for the time trial or things like uh, the emblem or if it's a requirement for whatever triumphs you want. Because if you rush yourself a little too much, you could end up in a very bad spot. Either way, as you could probably already see by now if you're an attentive individual, once you get to this still platform, the final Ascendant Egg is right on the top of your final destination. That one is very, very hard to miss if you're looking for it, but very easy to miss if you're not. Now, a little tip here for my hunters, actually any class, but it's more difficult on um, Hunter and Titan to get here and more difficult to live on Warlock. You can actually jump all the way from the top using things like Ballistic Slam, Shatter Dive. Um, you could use Icarus Dash with like a sword. And then I, I believe it is easiest to do on a Thunder Crash Titan. You can kill these guys with any sort of weapons. There's no real mechanics for the boss fight of this one. To be honest, there's not many for any of them. But for this one, you can kind of just burst it down. I recommend a solar weapon. And then you can just go ahead and collect your loot. Do keep in mind that uh, Dreaming City loot is required for a lot of the triumphs for example you have to complete like shattered throne with uncured reverie sets so don't just dismantle all the armor necessarily but i know what most people want from this is weapons and or triumphs so do keep that in mind if you guys want to see any more videos related to certain things i've already been asked about ascendant eggs in the outside of the dreaming city and like in the shattered throne and stuff but i do feel like there's other videos on that already but if you if you guys really want me to make stuff like that feel free to let me know and either way thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed peace